Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Star Selling Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with your weekly love reading for the week of September 6th through September 12th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't. For those of you liking and sharing the videos, thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the amazing channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Also, I do want to say that I do or I am planning to revamp the membership area. Uh, I think I'm going to have three levels now. I think I'm just going to drop it all down into like one or two. Uh, so that is on the list of things to do. I've got the two other t-shirt or sweatshirt designs for the shop that are going to be coming up. And um, yeah, I still got to switch up the about page information and the description. So working on all of that. Also, there will be, uh, I will be opening up a few private readings here probably in this week or then probably next week so I'll be on the lookout for all of that all right all right I do feel like I've been doing a lot of love readings as of recent so we're gonna switch it up just a little bit today do it a little bit different use some different decks that sort of thing and see what is coming out for you for this week Aquarius and Love so we're gonna start with a pointer card and figure out what the overall kind of energy is or may be for you in love this week, Aquarius. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, nope. Sorry, it's just that one. That was the one. That was the one. All right. And we're going to get a couple of these bad boys. Ooh, that's too many. Ooh, the fact that that came out. Some of you may be um, working with a kind of bad girl, bad boy energy, trying to, uh, or working to kind of break it or to, oh, did you see that? Jumping cards or to be the one who's like, ah, I tamed the bad boy, the bad girl, or the bad boy, the bad girl is like committing to me. I don't know something. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. We've got these guys out here. Cards everywhere. All right. So that may be you. That may be you. Let's see what else. Well, man, the cards are just jumping. So some of you may be having like jumping thoughts or jumping ideas as far as love or relationships. Love or relationship goes this week too. And some of you may not be getting your words out. There may be things that you're wanting to say, but you feel like there's potentially a blockage or something that's holding you back from saying what it is that you feel like you really want to say. Let's see what the overall is. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is true. So some of you have been blocking yourself off or resisting love in one way or another. It's almost as if potentially you've been like, hey, you know what, and this could have to do with a bad boy, bad girl kind of thing, or the not speaking up as well here, Aquarius. Some of you may just be jumping back and forth, kind of wishy-washy as far as love goes this week, right? Being like, ah, there's nobody out there and everybody's taken. There's no, you know, um, my Prince Charming or Prince Princess Charm, whatever it is, right? There, There's no Mr. No nice guys or nice gals out there. The bad boys, the bad girl, whatever it may be, okay? But there is love all around. If you're not looking for it or if you're resisting it or kind of closing it off or... or shushing it away before it even shows up, then there's not much you can do about it. There is a lot you can do about it. But if you're doing that, you're closing off before time. Okay. So you, you've got to make sure that you're not doing that and then being like, oh, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. Or there's not much I can do about it. It's just the way it is because that's not true. If you're doing it or creating it yourself. Okay. This doesn't matter whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship. If you're single, of course, because if you're like tuned off or turning away from love, if you're not um, playing the game to win, so to speak, or out there, you know, um, making sure or making the connections with your current partner, right? Um, hugging, loving on, touching, kind of, um, even just brushing against them, right? Kind of a sensual energy. Um, then what, yeah, you gotta, you gotta play the game to win here, Christ. And it takes two to tango, right? All right. Let's see what else is coming in here. You've got rebuilding, 
fear, giving and receiving and feels like home. Okay, so some of you are in the space where there's a potential that you are holding that fear. We talked about that, right? Closing off, not being open to it, right? Um, this energy is coming back kind of as an energy um, of somebody coming back. It, it's like you, somebody wants to rebuild, whether this is you or somebody else, of course, it's still that bad girl, bad boy energy is coming through. It's almost as if um, you are in a relationship with somebody who might be quote unquote considered bad girl, bad boy, or, um, you've been in a relationship where that's what you would, but you're, you're ready potentially to rebuild. There's a lot of fear around this or they are okay. Um, that giving and that receiving some, that's what we were talking about here. If you play the game, like you're wanting to win, it goes back and forth. There's a push pull, there's a giving, there's a receiving. It can't all be one-sided of course. And it feels like there's a potential that uh, one or both of you aren't playing the game to win. It's it's like, oh, I want them to show me. I want them to tell me. I want them to be the one. I want them, 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 right? Uh, whether that's you or your person that might be thinking or saying that, but it does take, it. there's got to be that back and forth. It can't always be one-sided or just one person doing it. So um, if this is like that bad girl, bad boy energy, right? Uh, if, if you're always showing up or if they're always showing up, right? Um, but nobody else is doing anything else that gets really really uh redundant and gets really boring and it gets to this energy where you're like yeah or they may be like ah eh, forget it so you got to have that giving and receiving okay again this is love is all around you right um but if you're like well they're not doing all the things and they're not showing up for me and they didn't take me here and they didn't do that right um and you're not doing that either then you're not playing the game to win either way aquarius okay uh, and feels like home so yeah you know you know, well, hopefully you know what this energy feels like when somebody just feels like your person or a place just feels like your place or something just feels like home. And it doesn't even have to be, have anything to do with a home or any of that, right? It could be a person. It could just be this knowing, but that energy is here this week, Aquarius, that there's a potential that you or somebody feels like home or you feel like home to somebody and there's that pulling that draw back or that draw to kind of rebuild or have that connection. But there's a little bit of fear, right? There's a little bit of fear, a little back and forth, not really sure or not um, feeling potentially like like the words can be spoken or like it could be said. It feels difficult, okay? You've got the eight, yeah, yeah, eight of swords, but the nine of pentacles is here too. Got the king. So this could potentially have to do with two different people. You got the king of pentacles and you've got the knight of swords. So there's that. But the eight of swords energy is here, Aquarius. And this energy is like booming. This is like a, a thundering energy here. Okay. Somebody is feeling as if they really, um, there's a passiveness in love like one person is giving and the other isn't now i'm not saying the bad girl or the bad boy if this has to do with this aquarius isn't but it's almost like this energy like doesn't give or doesn't show up or doesn't this or that or that it's all on on the the good quote unquote person or or considered person right because it's not really like that sometimes the, the bad boy the bad girl is the one that's showing up and giving even though they are right but somebody somebody in this relationship doesn't feel like there's that that um even or even any give and take somebody is not playing to win somebody's just like you you have to woo me you have to do it all and it does take two so that's that's really this energy is being reiterated who is that Aquarius because this nine of pentacles is here as well and this nine of pentacles is all about having those high standards and balanced love right or balancing out within love okay it's as if you're seeing all of the grapes all of that beautiful potential all of the the energy that that could possibly be but if it's one-sided right even though that person feels like home or or whatever then that fear is kind of um valid in one way or another for whoever this is for okay so right? If one of you is playing and the other one is is playing the game to one, win and the other one isn't, right? It doesn't really balance out and it doesn't bring that into that harmony. But somebody feels like they want to rebuild. They want to have this relationship. They want to do that give and take. They want to see and feel and have that love. They want to connect, reconnect. This feels like home, right? Bad girl, bad boy, uh, whatever, right? Mr. Right, Mrs. Right, Prince Charming, Princess Charm, whatever this is, Aquarius, 
but if it's not balanced out, then it, it has, the, there's that difficulty there with that, okay? It makes it very, very difficult. And then there's that question of, okay, well, I'm the one playing to win, but if, if they aren't showing up to even the game, then what's the point? Is it even worth it? So that's a big question coming through here, okay? You've got the King of Pentacles coming in here, Aquarius, for this as well. That King of Pentacles, this is somebody who is very generous, whether this is you or this is them. It's not balancing out again, right? They are wanting somebody within this is wanting a serious relationship they're um, emotionally invested they're financially potentially secure they could give you the world or potentially you can give them the world but if 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 this isn't balanced out right this this person whoever this is Aquarius you or your person um, they are really rooting for this they are really right here for that but there's some fears right with that knight of swords energy again there's some fears coming in here about that there's some fears about whether this is or isn't whether it could be or not whether this is true or not for some there may be some fears of intimacy there may be a little bit of a a question about right bad boy bad girl whether somebody is being honest or truthful or whether somebody is is um, really showing up in that full capacity which they're not right there's a lot of fear around this Aquarius so um, yeah this is this energy is a little bit back and forth but it comes down to playing the game to win it comes down to right you or they and it feels like they are feeling like right you feel like home feels like home it feels like right this give and take but there's a lot of fear around that there's a lot of potential concern around that as well now you have the the king of pentacles so this could actually be two different people coming through here of course this could also be your um, and your person's energy, pentacles energy is earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, of course, swords energy is air energy, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So this could be king of pentacles, could be your person, non-gender specific, not male, female. It's not about the gender, it's about the energy. And the knight of swords could be yours. This could be coming through Aquarius potentially, right? As your person being the king of pentacles and you being the knight of swords, which yours might be a little bit less mature energy coming through this week. I'm not saying that you're not mature or grown because I'm sure you're a grown ass adult. That's great. But the energy coming through, their energy may be coming through a bit mature, more mature than yours. Yours might be coming through as a little bit younger. That might be where this energy of, you know, um, kind of wanting them to do everything for you. It's almost like a parenting energy, like like potentially you're wanting somebody to parent you, Aquarius, and they're like, no, well, I want I want to build together or rebuild together, right? But there's, there's a potential for that fear uh, overall. Somebody um, not really speaking their truth, not really speaking their voice. Somebody uh, within this may have a fear of intimacy. There may be that, that energy of, you know, um, kind of not being really sure or indecisive uh, about what to do. Now that, that Knight of Swords is like this energy of almost, um, can be very in their head, right? There may, there may be a decision, there may be something, but it may be indecisive as well. So this is coming through a little bit back and forth, of course, but there is a, the, the potential that this is your person, this is you, but there is also that potential that there's more than one people involved in this as well so that may be coming through as you being the bad girl or the bad boy right having more than one one um chance but right seeing not seeing all the love or seeing so much love right depending on the how that is but there is one person that is standing out here Aquarius that feels like home okay whether that's you or one of these people however that comes through this is your story you you're gonna know what resonates for you and if it doesn't resonate for you it's not for you just let it go okay it's all good it's all good all right I do intend this resonated with you and for you if it did please do hit the like button and share this video it does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings it is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the lucky stars community in growing and thriving as always I do wish you lots of hope lots of joy and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors I'll see you in the next reading